I took five different cozy mystery writing courses. So today we're going to review all of them. We're going to go through what content was inside of them, who's teaching them, how much they cost, and whether or not they were worth it. I'm Lisa and welcome to my cozy mystery author tube channel where we talk about all things related to cozy mystery writing. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday. Now today's five cozy mystery courses that we're going to review have two important criteria all in common. The first one is they were specifically just about cozy mysteries. So I know there's a ton of courses out there about writing in general, about mysteries, about thrillers, about suspense, and that's great, but I wanted a course that was specifically just about cozy mysteries. The second criteria is that this was an actual real course that went through modules from beginning to end versus I know there are a lot of blog posts out there, there's podcasts, and to me that's just a lot of random sort of disconnected information. Even this YouTube channel is the same thing because they're not meant to go in a specific order. They just kind of come up as different topics each week and that's okay, but I would never call my YouTube channel a course. So that's why those were out of scope. So these are just cozy mystery courses that we are reviewing today. So what I did is I took all of the courses and I divided them into three different buckets for us to look at. The first is a definite no. Like I asked myself the question, would I repurchase this again? So the first two are a definite no. The next one is a maybe. And then the last two are a definite yes. So let's start with the no's. The first definite no was an Udemy course called How to Write a Cozy Mystery Series by Harry DeWolf. Now, Harry DeWolf is a freelance editor. He does not specialize in cozies. And as far as I could tell on his website, there was nothing about cozies except for this particular course and a link to the Udemy site. Now, this course was not expensive. It was $59.99. And sometimes if you're not familiar with Udemy, if you land on the course from a Google search, I think the course only is $10. They'll discount it like 80 or 90%. And that's if you buy it, there's a little timer. So you have to buy it within like five or six minutes or something. But either way, I would still say it wasn't worth it for two really important reasons. One is the information presented in the course. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it was wrong. Um, not all of it, but a lot of it, it either didn't coincide with any of the cozy books that I have read, or it did not coincide with any of the instruction given in any of the other courses or books on craft that I've read. So I would say it's actually more damaging than helpful to take the course. Uh, and, you know, just a personal sort of nitpicky thing. I just didn't like his voice because it was like, it sounded very like Shakespearean. I don't know if that makes sense. It didn't have an accent. I don't know. It was very formal. So I like a conversational voice, kind of like how I talk uh, and I talk fast. So that's my that's my preference. That's just a personal preference. So the second course that was a no was Sarah Rosette. And now she is a cozy mystery author. Uh, and this was titled How to Plot a Cozy Mystery. So I was super excited because I'm a plotter um, and I'm an outliner. Oh, sorry. The course was called How to Outline a Cozy Mystery. And it was, I believe it was 249 when it first came out. When I purchased it, it was 199. And when I say when, I mean literally one week ago. And I checked right before I went to record this video and it was only 149. So I don't know if she's just changing the pricing or she has a special going on. I'm not really sure. So my biggest complaint with the course, other than that it was super basic in that you can already get it in the book, is that the material that she used as examples were super old. And I don't even know if I consider them cozies. Like the so when she went through and she explained what a like let's say how to do up your first plot point, she used two movies. The first was from 1935 which is Murder on the Orient Express. And the second was from 1954, which is Rear Window. So to me, those did not really seem like cozies and they weren't from this decade and they honestly weren't books that I would write. So that's not the kind of book that I want to write. I'm trying to write a cozy mystery for this time period and for readers of today. So for me, those weren't good examples. And she has so many books, I don't know why she didn't use them. Now, um, and the other thing was she has the workbook, which you can purchase separately on Amazon, but I would not recommend that either. It was, again, super basic. And the workbook is basically just, there's nothing fancy. It's just 
some text uh, asking some basic questions. So I would say pass on both of those. So the second bucket is the maybe, and the maybe is on savvy authors. So savvy authors, it's kind of hard to say because uh, whether or not you should take the course because they rotate on when they offer courses. Like each year there's new courses and I do teach on that platform too. I do, I love Savvy. Uh, and the thing with Savvy that you have to remember is they're mostly geared towards romance writers and romance writers like classes that are taught in text format, like either like an email kind of format or a blog post format. So no one's talking to you. There are no slides or anything else. In fact, I do teach like that. I'm the only person on that platform that teaches like that. So, um, you know, not saying that you can't, that's just traditionally what's what's been on there. And so this was a class from Lori Devoti. Now it was $40. And the reason I say it's a maybe is because I am not a pantser. And this was 100%, in my opinion, a class for a pantser because she goes through the hero's journey. And not that it wasn't valuable. That's why I'm saying it's a maybe. Uh, but I it just doesn't work for me because I'm so detailed in my outline structure. And that's just my personal style. Um, so that's a maybe. And I I don't know if she'll offer it again. It was offered, I believe in 2016, I want to say, or 2017, I took it. Um, so the next course is, the next two courses are definite yeses. Um, and I will just say, spoiler, like not even spoiler, maybe bad news is Carrie Nelson's class on how to write a cozy mystery was my all time favorite on the Savvy Author platform. The only problem is that I don't believe Carrie's writing cozy mysteries anymore. So I did email her a few times. I haven't heard back. Um, so I think she's just kind of, you know, leaving that platform. It looks like she's moved on to do some other things totally unrelated to writing. Um, but I loved her class. She was very straight to the point. She, um, but she was a yes in case you ever see that offered again on Savvy. And then the top class, which is available for purchase right now, Melissa Storm's class, which is how to write and market your cozy mystery. Hands down, greatest class I have ever taken on cozy mystery writing or possibly writing in general. So Melissa is a superstar author girl boss to the max. She has six different businesses. She is uh, writing under this pen name, Melissa Storm, and the, well, her real name, Melissa Storm, and then the pen name Molly Fitz for her cozies. And they are excellent. They are so good. They are pet detective cozies. I love them. I couldn't stop reading them. And she also publishes other authors uh, on her other presses and publications. And so she's very successful just in general, like anything that she tries just turns to gold. Um, and so Melissa has decided to teach this course on how to write a cozy mystery. So the course is broken up into two parts. One is how to plot and outline your course. And the second is how to market it. And even then the one on how to plot and outline your course, she's already having you thinking about categories and rankings and what's popular and what's not popular. So if you're looking to do indie publishing for Cozy, this is 100% the class that you want. And the best part is it's not expensive. It was only $99 and totally worth every single penny. And she um, has a lot, she shares a lot of information. And if you want, uh, she can, I don't think she, she has a private Facebook group along with it where she does like interact with everybody, but she also offers private one-on-ones too that you can sign up for. Obviously those are not free. Those do cost extra, but I'm sure they're totally worth it. So that is my wrap up of all the cozy mystery courses. So let's go ahead and recap that from the beginning. The first two were no's. It was the Udemy course and the Sarah Rosette course. And then the next one was a maybe that's on Savvy Authors. That's Laura, Lori Devotee. And then the two that are definite yes are Carrie Nelson. Again, that's on Savvy Authors. So it may or may not be offered again in the future. You just have to check the schedule. And the next one, which is a definite yes, is the Melissa Storm class on, it, it's through her business business called Author Engine on how to write and market a cozy mystery. So definitely go check that out. All right. I hope that was helpful. Um, and let me know below if there's a cozy mystery class you've seen, you want me to check out, I will definitely do a review. And I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. And I will see you guys next Monday.